welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tip today we've got a nice easy one uh, a customer wrote in and asked a question it says how do you make rounded corners in Photoshop so that he can make his pictures uh, unique and stand out more because uh, he couldn't find a way uh, to round the corners on his pictures and I told him, I says, no problem. I make him a quick video here and walk him right through the process. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, here I've got a nice uh, picture. Uh, uh, this happens to be uh, uh, American Bulldog. Uh, this is uh, my uh, son-in-law and daughter. Uh, they uh, run a uh, uh, American Bulldog. They breed them and uh, they run a business on that. And... Uh, I borrowed one of their fine specimens here for today's examples. Okay, so how do we go ahead and turn this with square corners into rounded corners? It can't be any easier. Come down to your toolbar and find the rectangular tool. And then simply anywhere in your photo, go ahead and click and drag out a rectangle and it'll appear on your screen. Now, if this property box doesn't open up automatically like it did for me, just simply go to the side here where it says properties and then open up the properties. Okay. So now we're going to see that we have control over the left, upper left, upper right, lower right, lower left corners. And we can simply, by clicking and dragging, we can actually round the corners however far we want to go. We can round them quite a bit or we can round them up. If you want to do it uh, individually, okay, you click this link and you can now into work individually with a corner. So I could round the upper left and maybe I want to round the upper right. And I could see I can make any kind of shape or size or design I want to have. But for this purposes here, we're just going to go ahead and uh, reset these things back to zero. And I'm going to relink everything and I'm going to just put a nice radius on these photo. Yeah, about 40 pixels. Okay. Now, to get a good idea, we can close up the property panel. We can um, change the opacity. Of this layer and then we can uh, using the move tool we can click and drag and position how we want that picture framed when we're happy bring back the opacity to 100 percent and now we're almost done okay you'll notice we have the background layer and we have the rectangular on top of it what we need to do is move the background layer on top of the rectangle now to do that we have to unlock this layer so just double click and hit OK now this layer is unlocked and we can just simply drag it above the rectangle tool okay so now we're almost done one step left okay between the two layers you'll see the line in between I need you to hold the older option until your icon changes to this video you'll notice here from a hand to a down arrow this is going to create a clipping mask. So click there and voila. We have now taken the photo, inserted round, round corners, and we're ready to go. It's that easy. Okay. So until next week, you guys take care.